In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Helena by My Chemical Romance off of their album, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if My Chemical Romance was your favorite emo band. And let's dive in. This song's gonna be in standard tuning, and the intro is gonna be two guitars playing single notes. So we'll have one guitar that'll be playing this. So it's all single note picking, we start on the ninth fret of the sixth string, and we're picking 16th notes here, so it's just gonna be fast picking with your right hand. A little palm mute, then it goes to open sixth string, seventh fret, fourth fret, and then fifth fret. So we have ninth fret, open, seven, four, five, four, five, and we'll go back up to nine, and seven. And then you'll hear the, the chickas. The other guitar will be playing this. Same single note picking style, just different notes. So that part will start on the 14th fret of the fourth string. Again, 16th notes with the right hand. Down to 11th fret, fourth string. This will all be on the fourth string. Then 13th fret, then 9th fret, then 11, 13, 14. So we have this so far. Okay, so we're back here on the 14th fret now. Down to 11. Then 9, 11, 13. And we hear the chick is here. At this point, we kick on the distortion and enter the verse. There's two guitars playing in the verse. I'll play one guitar here. Let's break that down. So we have fourth fret, fifth string power chord. Right hand again is pretty much 16th notes, skipping a note here and there. Then what we do is we come down, we play open sixth string, and then seventh fret, fifth string, then open sixth string, ninth fret, fifth string. So it's. 
and we play seventh fret power chord on the sixth string. And then this is the next chord here, which is seventh fret sixth string, sixth fret fifth string, ninth fret fourth string. Then we go to fifth fret power chord. Move the first finger down to fourth fret and then back up to that power chord. Then we have fourth fret, fifth string power chord, and then second fret. So all together, that guitar slow. While that's going on, a second guitar is playing this. Same first chord. So there's a lot of octave swiping in that part. But it starts on that same power chord, 4th fret, 5th string power chord, 16th notes with the right hand. And what we're going to do is play the 4th fret octave. So you lift the ring finger off, and then we can let the 6th string ring out. Let me go up to the 6th fret octave, then 7th fret octave, Back down to 4th fret, 6th fret, and then 7th fret. Now we'll enter the pre-chorus section. So we have two guitar parts here. I'll play one of the guitar parts, more of the rhythm guitar part here. Goes like this. So that part's mostly power chords. We're gonna start on this fourth fret, sixth string, seventh fret, fifth string chord. Then we move to fifth fret power chord. Then fourth fret, fifth string power chord. And then second fret power chord. And then repeat. And then don't forget those chickas at the end. Just muting the strings. The other guitar is playing octave swipes again. So the other guitar part is this. So that's just octave swipes on the fifth string, starting on the seventh fret, up to nine. Just alternating. And then it goes six, seven, and repeat. And the chick is there. At this point, we kick into the chorus. And in the chorus, the rhythm changes from 16th notes to 8th notes. So I'll play the rhythm guitar part in the chorus here. It sounds like this. So that's straight eighth notes and mostly power chords. So we'll start on this open E power chord, open sixth string. And we move second fret, fifth string. 
Then we go third fret, fifth string, sixth fret, fourth string. And then fourth fret, power chord. Then we go third fret, fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string. So that's kind of a reach. But you only have to play four notes there. Then you bring the pinky down to the sixth fret. So it's. While the rhythm plays that, the lead guitar is playing these octaves. So those are just all octave swipes. And the right hand rhythm is a little bit random here. So it's not straight eighth notes, it's not 16th notes. It just kind of flows with the song and it's somewhat random. So you'll just have to listen to the track to get the exact rhythm. But it goes something like this. So we're on seventh fret, fifth string. Up to, up to nine, up to 11 and then back to nine. So we have. Then up to 11 again. Then 11, 14, 12, and 11. So we have all this so far. Then we go 12, 11. Then we go 7, 9, 7, 6, 2. So all together. Right before we kick into the second verse, you'll hear this part, this clean guitar. So all I'm doing there is barring the ninth fret on the fourth, third, and second strings. And I'm playing fourth string, second string, fourth string, third string. Then we'll play a second verse and a second chorus exactly the same as the first. The second chorus does have an extended part. So the second chorus will play twice through. So that octave swiping part, we're up here. Just like we did in the first chorus. When we hit here, second fret, we go two, four, two now. And then we repeat. This time we stay on the 11th fret here and go 7, 9, 7, then 11, 9, 7. So all together that octave part in the second chorus will go like this. So the first time through. At this point, we enter the breakdown. And in the breakdown, we have two different guitars. So one guitar will just be playing single notes on the sixth string. Starting on the ninth fret, it sounds like this. So we'll just keep repeating that part. So we have ninth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. 
16th notes with the right hand. And repeat. And just keep playing this over and over again. And over top of that part, the lead will be playing these octaves. So 16th notes with the right hand, starting on the seventh fret. Seventh fret, sixth fret, seven, nine, eleven, nine. So we'll play that twice. Again, that's seven, six, seven, nine, eleven, nine, seven, six, seven, nine, eleven, nine. Then we go here. So that third time through, we're at nine, we go 11, 12, 14. Seven, eleven, nine, seven. And then this last time through, we're just at seven, six, seven, nine. So let's play that whole octave swiping part. I'll play it slow. At the very end of that breakdown, a distorted guitar kicks in and plays this. So all we're doing is palm muting 7th fret power chord on the 6th string for one measure, and then we play these octaves. That's just 6, 7, 6, 7, 9, 6. Coming out of the breakdown, we kick into the last chorus. The first time through the chorus will be exactly the same as the others. The second time through, the octave part sounds like this. So let's break down that part. It's just octave swipes on the fifth string like we've been doing for most of the song. Starting on the seventh fret here. And then the right hand is pretty much eighth notes, but it skips notes here and there. And some notes they just let ring out, but it's kind of random. So it sounds like this. So we go seven to nine, back to seven. repeats, this time up to 11, so we have and then back down to 7, so that's 7, 9, 7 again. Now at this point we go 7, 9, 7, and then 11, 12, 11. So all together so far we have this. We go 14, 12, 11, 
And then at this point, it sounds like they're just letting the notes ring out. So then we have seven, nine, seven, sorry, 11, nine, seven. So all together, that last chorus octave part. Was Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge the best emo album ever? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls.